Here's a simple binomial theorem question. We are asked to expand the following in ascending powers of x up to the x cubed term and we are asked to simplify each coefficient. Now let's make sure we um, write down the formula that we're going to use for the binomial theorem. This is given in your formula booklet. as follows. Okay, so this here should be standard for you to um, be able to uh, look in the formula book and get at ease. Okay, so that's the formula we're going to use here. Right, let's have a go expanding this. So, part A. 1 plus 4x to the power of 3 over 2 is equal to 1 plus n, which is 3 over 2, multiplied by 4x, everything should stay in brackets, plus 3 over 2, and 3 over 2 take away 1, which is a half, all of that over 2 times 1, <coughs> 4x all squared, everything should be in brackets, plus 3 over 2 multiplied by a half, multiplied by negative a half, all over 3 times 2 times 1, and it will be 4x cubed, plus dot dot dot. And now it's just a case of tidying these things up. So this here is going to be equal to 1 plus 3 over 2 times 4x is 6x. That's a nice easy term. Then we just type these into our calculator. 3 over 2 multiplied by a half. So 3 over 2. So 3 over 2 multiplied by a half. All over 2 times 1. Um, and then multiplied by... 4x squared, which would be 16x squared. This would give me 6x squared as well when I do that. And when I do 3 times... So the next one would be uh, 3 over 2 times a half times negative a half all over 3 times 2 times 1. And all of that times by 4x cubed, which is 64x cubed. I would get myself actually a negative here. So this would be negative 4x cubed plus dot, dot, dot. Now part B asks us to state the values of x for, for which this is valid. The modulus of this here must be less than 1. So we're going to write down that the modulus of 4x must be less than 1. And that is the same as the modulus of x being less than a quarter. And we're done for five very simple marks there.